Welcome once again. Right now we're in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 11 through 22. One with the Jews. Paul wrote to the saints in Ephesus saying, Therefore remember that once you, the Gentiles in the flesh, in other words, according to your biological DNA, you are Gentiles who are called, quote unquote, uncircumcision by that which is called, quote unquote, circumcision. In other words, you are called the uncircumcision by the Jews, which call themselves the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that you were at that time separate from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants, covenants, covenants of the promise, having no hope and without God in the world a lot of people, they have no clue the difference between the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. They think that everything between Genesis and Malachi is the Old Covenant. Do you realize that between Genesis and Malachi, there are many, many covenants, strangers from the covenants of the promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off are made near in the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who made both one. Key word here, both. Both here meaning Jews and Gentiles, the circumcision and the uncircumcision. And broke down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the hostility, the law of commandments contained in ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man of the two, making peace and might reconcile them both in one body to God through the cross, having killed the hostility through it. And so the Jews and the Gentiles find unity in that faith and might reconcile them both in one body to God through the cross, having killed the hostility through it. Don't think that the law of God, the Torah of God, is the hostility. Remember, the scriptures declare that the law is holy, just, and good. It is spiritual. It is our own selfish, sinful nature that's hostile to God. He came and preached peace to you who were far off, that's talking about the Gentiles, and to those who were near, the Jews. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. So then, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, being built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Talking about the Old Testament prophets here. Christ Jesus himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom the whole building fitted together grows into a holy temple in the Lord in whom you also are built together for a habitation of God in the Spirit. You are the temple of God. And by the way, do you know that in the books of Moses, when God said, I will be with them, I will be among them, in the Hebrew that can also mean I will be in them. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.